Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Ozzie here from Black Cat Comics and Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. This is about the biggest, coolest week uh, we've had in a long time. Lots of great things to talk about. I think you all know that this is Doomsday Clock number one with the cool lenticular cover. I don't know if you can see the effect there. Uh, this is the biggest thing in comics. This is uh, what all this rebirth stuff has been building up to. I'm sure you know all about this. You can read all about it in the internet. Uh, this is your cool lenticular cover. Then there's your standard covers. Here's your Watchmen one. And here's my favorite, your cool Superman, Dr. Manhattan one. Again, can't say enough about this. It's one everybody's been waiting for. Uh, it's totally going to sell out, so I hope it's on your subscriber list, or I hope you're already in line at your favorite comic shop, because, uh, again, this is obviously the biggest book of the week, biggest book of the year so far. Lots of other things to talk about. Action Comics. This is your Oz Effect uh, Aftermath book. We've got uh, bundles of the Oz Effect stuff and bundles of uh, the button if you want to catch up on the uh, Doomsday prequel events, if you will. A lot been going on in these super books. Action, Wonder Woman, and Detective Comics are the three biggest classic books of all of comics. So it's great that those three uh, legendary titles came out along the same time as Doomsday Clock. Always talking about other Bat stuff like Batman Beyond and Batgirl. The Flash is your uh, DC TV star. Another red hot book that they've got. Everybody's uh, been nuts about Flash these days. That and Blue Beetle round out your individual hero books. Justice League of America, Teen Titans, and Suicide Squad are your team up books for the week. Speaking of Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn also out this week. Another book that doesn't need a lot of hype from me because everybody's already following that one. And Hellblazer rounds out your monstrous rebirth book for the week. But there's always lots of DC stuff to talk about, like Nightwing New Order, a little uh, out of continuity set in the future Nightwing book. Like everything Nightwing, this one's been uh, selling out every single time. Nightwing's one of the most popular DC characters, so if you aren't following this or his main title, you may want to grab the latest issue and see what all the buzz is about. And one of my all-time favorites, The Demon, gets his uh, own title again this week. Love me some Etrigan. Uh, a lot like uh, Neil Adams bringing back Dead Man. Demon is uh, an all-time great character, so if you don't know much about him, grab this latest issue and find out, because that's super awesome. Gotham City Garage is another uh, extracurricular DC book, along with Commandy Challenge. A little like the demon, Commandy is uh, from the mind of the all-time great Jack the King Kirby. Love me some Commandy Challenge. Every issue is done by a new creative team. They write it into a cliffhanger for the next creative team to figure out. Uh, this book has been just 20 tons of fun, so if you haven't been grabbing this, grab that first issue and, and catch up, because... Nothing's cooler than Commandy. Astro City is another book I talk about all the time. Formerly an image book, now it's a DC Vertigo title. Alex Ross covers, Kurt Busiek stories, Brent Anderson art. What more do you want? One of the best superhero books of all time. Uh, Doom Patrol is your young animal book of the week. Imaginary Friends is your first issue Vertigo book of the week. Always encouraging you guys to grab those first issues of new Vertigo titles. And Rough and Ready is your, uh, I don't know, Hanna-Barbera tie-in book for the week. This one's by Howard Shaken. Always uh, cautiously recommend Howard Shaken. I love his stuff, but it's not for the faint of heart. Great, great, great week for the DC guys. Good week for everybody else, too. How about some Black Panther? Uh, this is the second issue of the Marvel Legacy stuff since his returning to uh, original Legacy numbering taking on The Claw, his uh, original classic villain. Maybe you caught the trailer before the Thor movie. Can't say enough about Black Panther. He's about to be the most popular character in Marvel Comics. Great time to be an X-Men fan. This is the latest issue of X-Men Gold. This is the first part of the latest arc. 
or the new arc, I should say. Uh, the crossover ended with the last issue. Uh, like I said, great time to be an X-Fan. If uh, you used to love the X-Men back in the day, X-Men Blue, X-Men Gold are really solid right now. So get up on this latest issue and jump back into X stuff. All new Wolverine. Cable back in his own book. And Generation X round out your X stuff for the week. Like I say, good time to be an X fan. Invincible Iron Man, a little like Black Panther. This is your second issue of uh, the renumbered legacy stuff. Really excited about this book. This is wrapping up what's been going on in the title, but building up to some new cool stuff. Love seeing uh, Victor Von Doom in this book all the time. Again, if you uh, haven't been following Iron Man, grab the uh, last issue and grab this latest one and catch up because that's really fun stuff. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows starts a new storyline this week. That and Spider-Man Deadpool are your Spidey books, unless you count Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. If uh, you go back to the 80s and 90s like I do, you love some Silver Sable. This is just a one-shot. They've been doing some uh, random back, uh, just individual books like this one in Power Pack to... Uh, Refresh your memory on some classic Marvel Legacy stuff. Thanos. From the darker side of the Marvel Universe. And you see him again here on the cover of Guardians of the Galaxy. This is your last issue of the Telltale series. Luke Cage is your Netflix hero. But Captain Marvel is, uh, after Black Panther, this will be your big Marvel movie star. A lot of you are already following Captain Marvel. If you're not, you're going to want to get up on this book and uh, see why she's cool enough to get her own movie. Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur is your uh, Ladies of Marvel book. And Monsters Unleashed and Royals show you some of the range of the good old Marvel guys. Punisher Platoon from Garth Ennis is your Punisher book of the week. And last but not least is Star Wars. Can't say enough about Star Wars. Uh, this is the second issue of the latest arc. New writer, new artist. Uh, you can read more about this one in our newsletter this week. Been loving the job they've been doing with all the Star Wars books. Great, great week for the Marvel guys. And what a good week for all the other guys too. I told you this is one of the best weeks we've seen in a long time. Angel is my Whedonverse book. You know I love me some Whedonverse just like you do. But Sherlock Frankenstein is the real Dark Horse book of the week. This one comes out of Black Hammer from Jeff Lemire. This is the story of uh, the bad guy from that title. If you don't know about Black Hammer, you should really grab that trade paperback and check it out. I like talking about some of the stuff Dark Horse does that isn't necessarily licensed property stuff. Redneck and Gasolina are probably your image books of the week. But Elephant Man is my image book of the week because I've been talking about this book for many, many years. Really cool sort of genre fusion title. It's uh, anthropomorphic, it's crime noir, it's science fiction, it's superhero. It's a little bit of everything you want in comics. It's great stories and great art. Uh, grab that first trade paperback. They do giant trade paperbacks for this series. Uh, grab that first one and you'll see what I'm talking about. Very addicting book. And Void Trip is your first issue gotta have it image book of the week like vertigo i'm always encouraging you guys to grab these first issues before they're gone i have been really loving talking up some archie comics betty and veronica vixens is my archie book of the week I've been saying what a great job archie's been doing with all their stuff if you're asking yourself archie why is he talking about archie then you haven't been paying attention because they've got a hundred titles that you want to be reading afterlife with archie chilling adventures of sabrina uh archie reggie and me jughead betty and veronica now this one betty and veronica as bikers i mean come on how cool is that and riverdale with your cool photo cover my other archie book of the week this is uh, not the archie that uh that you're familiar with. This is a brand new style of Archie. Great, great stuff. And I'll be talking even more about him a little later. Clue is my IDW book because the comic is just as much fun as the game and uh, just as much fun as the movie. The Shadow is my Dynamite book of the week. If you follow our podcast, you know we're always talking up the great job Dynamite does with everything. And my man Marcus loves some Shadow. Turok is my Dynamite Book of the Week because, well, I love all the old Gold Key stuff like Turok and Magnus. 
They've been doing a good job with all of that stuff. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? And Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week because you love the MMPR. Great stuff. I warned you I'd be talking even more Archie. This is your pal Archie number four. I've been talking up the uh, more standard Archie stuff. They've been doing more, I don't want to say mature reader, more like the PG-13, kind of your average comic stuff, but they've also been sort of rebooting their classic all-ages stuff. Just a little more modern than, uh, than what they are famous for. Love me some Archie in any way, shape, or form. Looney Tunes, another all-time classic. You gotta love some Bugs Bunny. And Scooby-Doo team up with Adam Ant. No, not the singer, the superhero. Though seeing Scooby team up with the singer would also be cool. Invader Zim is your favorite all-ages book this week because you love some Gurr, unless you love some Steven Universe. And last but not least is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is the 80th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's really just a reprint of the original story, of the original comic, the original movie, but who doesn't love Snow White? And I'm always saying what a great job they do with all their Disney stuff. Really, really great week of stuff. So make sure you get down to your shop, pick up one of them Doomsday Clocks and uh, any of the other million great books that are out this week. I uh, want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. We'll be closed tomorrow. We'll be back open Friday. And then Saturday is our small business Saturday sale. Got all kinds of discounts and all kinds of fun things going on that day. Uh, so check the newsletter. Check the events page at the website to get all the info on the big sale. Uh, enjoy your holiday and uh, enjoy a weekend of great shopping. Uh, make sure you get out there pick up some cool superhero gifts for all your friends and family. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at blackcatcomics.biz. Check us out at Facebook. Check out our cool YouTube channel. Check out our podcast at soundcloud.com. Or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.